Hello and Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and this episode is, is one of the first in the series of um, API uh, screencasts, but also it's aimed at beginners as well because uh, I'm just going to show you the difference between find and filter in jQuery. So I'm revisiting some old code uh, that I put together for basic tabs and it's simply three divs, which you can see, and a UL at the top that points to the divs. So I'll show you the markup. Three divs with IDs and a UL at the top whose href point to these IDs. And it's all wrapped in this div uh, which has a class of tabs. <clears throat> now, the way that I think of find and filter in my head is that find will start at your current selection and navigate down within a DOM tree and filter will take your current selection and horizontally search for the selector you're looking for. So to give you an example of this, um, if I search for the LIs, I've got three LIs which are at the top here. <coughs> If I do find A, it will search so this is the, the allies. It'll search down the DOM tree and find these these anchors here. Okay. If I change that to filter for A because in this selection there's actually no anchors when I do filter for A it brings back an empty jQuery object case of length 0 if I show you how that can be can be used in the code so I'm going to write a really quick and dirty um, uh, plugin for tabs so $fn.tabs equals And in our startup code, document dot ready, we're going to do uh, div dot tabs dot tabs. Let's call it tabs, better name. Okay, so this this is going to be our plugin. <clears throat> Here I've cached a copy of um, the the wrapper. Okay, and I'll just show you what that is. Okay, straightforward, nothing special. Um, I've been asked a few times why I put a dollar in front of this this function, uh, this this variable, instead of having uh, just this. Um, the only reason that it's being used, and um, you'll see it in some other tutorials that like learning jQuery have as well, is that it's it's like a visual cue that this is uh, a jQueryified element. <clears throat> if I just stored this, I would I would store it like that. By having the dollar in front of it, I know just by scanning down the code that I can use jQuery func uh, methods. So sorry, not animation, animate, and so on. Now, using this this tab wrapper, I'm going to use it to um, to collect the links for uh, the, navig the the tabs and I'm going to use it to collect the tab panels by using find which searches down the tree so find div so that's panels Oops, that should be uh, tabs. So these are the clickable items. So from here I can then attach my uh, click handler.
And within the, the click handler, we're going to hide all the panels. And we want to show the one that's being clicked. Now, this is where filter comes in. So um, I'm going to filter for this.hash.show. So here I've gone and chained. And I've got some odd tabbing, but screw it. Right, so hide all the panels. Filter down to this.hash, and I'll show you what that is in a second. And then show only this one. If I just do a console.log on this.hash, you should see. Uh, what this is, so let's just a return false. Um, so returning false just cancels the, the default browser behavior so it won't jump down. And you can see in the console this hash also matches um, the ID. So that's why I can do panels.filter so it horizontally filters the, the, the selection of panels by that particular ID and then we can show it. Okay, so that's that's fine and filter. So from here as well, I can. Uh, if I was writing a plugin, I might want to trigger it to automatically show the first one. So I could do filter. Um, so remember, tabs is the the actual links, and I could do first dot click. So if I come to this for the first time. It will show me that first panel. Um, now, if I if I add a selected class, I think it supports it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. Okay. So if I when I click on it, I'm going to do tabs dot remove class um, selected. And I'm going to do this dot add class selected. Okay, so you can see because I'm triggering on the first, I'm, 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 sorry, I'm filtering the first uh, out of these these links. I can then trigger a, a click, and it will add the correct class. Okay, so what about if um, I've got I've got the hash on the actual URL? Well, if I stick that in a new window. That doesn't work, but what I can do down here is let me show you window.location.hash. Yeah, so that's that. And I can do so if that exists, then I can use it as the filter. Um, Otherwise, I use it first. This isn't going to work, and I'll show you why. Yeah, so it didn't work. Now, it's because uh, what are the tabs? A let's just yeah, so dot filter uh, window dot location dot hash nothing, and it's because we're trying to filter by by this ID. Is completely wrong. What we want to filter by is um, hash equals that. So if we do a dot filter. Um, oh, we're missing a closing bracket at the end. There we go. Cool. And if I show you which one it is. So let's grab that code, and we'll do uh, hash equals okay. So that is filter and find. So find searches down the tree, and filter will 
filter horizontally. All right, thanks for watching. Um, if you wanted to see the original tabs uh, screencast, that's on uh, jQuery4designers.com, and it's it's one of the early ones. So if you just, I think if you click to to view by a screencast, you should be able to just go right back to the beginning, and you'll find this one. Thanks for watching.